Now let's imagine that this program needed an object that bears a resemblance to this gold one that we already made. To achieve this, perhaps we could start by building a new object and giving it all the same values stored at all the same keys. We'll make a new object called blue, and we will start making it look exactly like the gold object by copying the properties over one at a time. Incidentally, there are helper functions out there that can help you copy all of the properties from one object onto another. It doesn't come with a language, but you could imagine doing the exact same thing with a simple for loop. This arrow represents the process of copying over each of the properties from the gold object to the blue object. Now, although the effect of this copy operation on the blue object will last indefinitely, it's important to remember that the copying happens just at one moment during the program's execution. It is not an ongoing copying back and forth behavior that keeps the two objects in sync. In this case, there's only one property in our gold object, so the copying process is quite simple. The copying process is now complete and won't be repeated. So if our program later goes on to modify gold or blue, we'd probably only expect them to have the A property in common after those modifications. 